Hi, this is Patty Butcher. I wanted to do a quick video showing the differences between tweak and clip as um, in the new update dated January 30th, uh, 13. There seems to be a little bit of confusion as to how they work, so I just wanted to do this quick little demonstration. I've already set up a pantograph and I am a one or two row uh, sequencer, batch quilter I guess you could say. I don't sequence all the rows, um, so I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration this way. I will also show you with sequencing more than one row. So I've already got everything set up. I'm going to go to my Sew Quilt page and I'm going to select my pattern. Let me undo that first one. I'm going to select this full row and I'm going to hit continue and I'm going to tap Sew Quilt. Let me zoom full. Now rather than just starting, if I need to do any clipping or tweaking, I'm going to hit the adjust button and as you can see on the screen, it says adjust sequence, touch a desired line and drag it to the desired position. But you also need to pay attention to what is on the toggle down here. Right now it says adjust mode tweak. So if I grab this line and start shifting it, thinking I am clipping my pattern, I'm actually tweaking it because I'm in tweak mode. So what it does is it actually scrunches up the full pattern rather than clipping off a portion of the pattern. So if you hit undo, you can get back to your original pattern. Now to get clip, I'm going to toggle this button and now you see it says adjust mode clip and you also have a transition type. So now when I drag that bar, the dotted line, it's actually clipping my pattern and not tweaking and distorting it. I can hit undo and it takes me back to my original unmodified clip. So if I'm going to go ahead and clip it and hit continue, I'm going to go ahead and sew it out. Hit start. Let the pattern sew out. And I'm using my stick so the sew outs are a little bit slower on computer than they are on the actual IQ. Okay, we're coming up to the end here. I paused the video so you didn't have to watch the whole thing stitch out. Because I'm sequencing only one row at a time, when it gets to the end, I get this little pop-up menu that says, do you want to advance the quilt? I would say yes. And now I'm at my realign, my realign screen. So at this point I can tap manual mode. I can break my thread, advance my quilt, do my basting, and get get the quilt all ready for sewing up the next row. I would realign just like I normally would before this upgrade. So I hit finished and it's asking me to touch a reference point so this is where I do my realignment. I'm just going to tap there as if I'm going to start sewing the second row. So hit continue, move the needle, OK. Now I'm at the screen. It functions a little bit differently when you're in demo mode than when you're actually on the machine sewing. But this is the way the screen would look after I advanced and I'm um, ready to sew out. So I need to sew my next row. So at this point I'm going to hit undo and I'm going to choose my next row to sew and I'm going to then hit continue. Now you'll notice because I clipped it, I didn't tweak the pattern, I clipped it, that once I finished that row, my clips disappeared. So I've got my full pattern again. So now when I'm ready to sew out my second row, if I need to clip it again, 
I would just say adjust, make sure I am on the clip mode and not tweak. So I'm back on clip and I can clip and then continue and sew it out. So if you like to sew one row at a time and clip it all, you know, as you go, you can do it that way. Let me back up and I'm going to undo everything so I can give you a quick showing if I'm going to sequence it all. So if I'm going to sequence my quilt, like many of you do, stop to cut threads in between each row because I have to advance. And now when I sew quilt and I want to adjust, I'm in clip mode. Always check this before you start dragging your lines. So I'm in clip mode and when I clip now all of the patterns, because I have them all sequenced, are going to be clipped. I can also undo before I hit the continue button. So now if I am going to, I'm going to continue, if I want to switch between clip and tweak, if I'm tweaking, all of the rows will be tweaked. Now notice, watch the full pattern. So what tweaking, do, it's actually right now, it looks like it's actually just going to clip off the pattern, but watch. See how it just squished up that full pattern. It didn't actually cut any of it off. It just squished it all up. So it's taken the original pattern and distorted it to the size that I placed using this clip line. Now once you tweak and you hit continue, I can never get this back. Clip you can, tweak you cannot, and tweak distorts. So always check your screen here before you make your changes by moving this dotted line. Hopefully this will help to clear up twick, oops, tweak and clip.